everybody, this is Leia and I'm back to give you your weekly reading by astrological sign. Do you watch the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and any other sign that is particularly prominent in your birth chart as you are so much more than your sun sign? This week, I felt called to use the Ludi Lescott Tarot to deliver the first part of your message. Now, since this deck is great at unearthing shadow messages, Expect to be doing some shadow work this week, or whatever you find yourself watching this video, since what you encounter here is not intended to be a forecast for the week ahead, regardless of the dates on the video. It's meant, instead, to be meaningful no matter when you stumble upon it. For the second part, you get to pick an insightful piece of food for thought from one of two decks. We are using Doreen Virtue's Angel Therapy Oracle cards and the Healing Cards deck by Carolyn Mace. Before we even proceed, choose right now which deck you're feeling guided to. A card from that deck will be your closing message. As always, the cards have been shuffled and selected at random prior to filming with the intention that the most helpful, relevant, and meaningful ones for us are what come up in our reading. So go ahead and choose right now which deck you want for your closing message. Doreen Virtue's Angel Therapy Oracle, this one right here, or Carolyn Mace's Healing Cards, this deck right here. And now, let's see what messages Spirit has in store for us. Welcome Aquarius suns, moons, risings, and everyone else with strong Aquarius energy in their birth charts. Your cards for the first part of your reading are the King of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. So, apparently, emotions or feelings and sensitivity are being brought to your attention right now with the presence of Two Cups cards. It looks like you are being told to be on guard, as the Seven of Wands suggests, so you don't get deceived by being overly emotional into making any unhealthy decisions. As you can see in the Seven of Cups, the girl's reflection in the mirror is that of a skeleton. She isn't what she appears to be, but you wouldn't know that if you allow your emotions to rule you. If you're feeling particularly strongly about something lately and aren't quite balancing this with logic or being rational in some way. Be like the King of Cups. He is aware of his emotions and knows how to work with them, but is never enslaved by them. And I'd also like to mention really quickly that the presence of two seven cards is a strong indicator that you're well past the middle of a cycle in your life at the moment, headed towards the end and close to it, but not quite there yet. If you chose the Angel Therapy deck, you got Archangel Raphael. The Healing Angel is with you, supporting your healing work. How perfect that Archangel Raphael should show up now. After all, he isn't just the angel of health and healing, he helps with emotions and love also. So, if you chose this card, call on Archangel Raphael whenever you're feeling uncertain or like your emotions are overwhelming you. If you find it challenging to trust many of your human friends with your emotional concerns, because you know, opening up can sometimes be hard, see where calling on Archangel Raphael leads you. And if you picked the Healing Cards deck, your message is Tranquility at home leads to health. And the back of the card reads, Home is for resting, renewal, warmth, and love. If this is not the atmosphere in your home, what can you do today that contributes to changing it? You are being nudged at this time to make whatever changes you can to your home so that it makes you feel safe, so that you feel soothed, whenever you are within the walls of your abode. What can you do that will help you feel like this is where you can rest and let go? And if not in your own home, where else can you allow yourself to feel at ease? 
If your home is not exactly the ideal environment in which you can recharge and regenerate daily, it's no wonder the emotional issues that were brought up in the first part of your reading exist. So take whatever steps you can now to see that your home contributes to your well-being rather than taking away from it. Thank you so much for watching. I've already uploaded the monthly July 2014 videos, so please take a look at those that relate to you if you haven't yet. And make sure to subscribe so you always see the future uploads the moment they're ready. I'll see you again very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye for now and namaste.